Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel and today I will be sharing with you this simple but gorgeous looking exploding box that I've created for my friend and this is for her daughter's birthday. Let's see what I've used to create the exploding box. I used this card, then I used the butterfly from Beautiful Butterfly Collection. Then I used this little box that was in auto ship. So it just came really recently. Then I'm using one of these pockets uh, from the mini album collection. Then I will be using uh, this uh, 3D cake or pop-up cake, I'm not sure what's the name. It's Anna Griffin's one. All other stuff right now is from uh, Crafter's Companion. Only this is from Anna Griffin. And it's kind of supposed to uh, be in the card and it closes and opens up to a cake. But in this case, it's stationary just in the middle. So... This is how it looks. Okay. Then I will be using some of the uh, heavyweight acetate. Then uh, Centura Pearl uh, Baby Pink um, card. It's one-sided pink on this side, white on the other side. Then Rose Gold uh, Luxury Pack. And of course the Rose Gold Paper Pack. It's 12 by 12, as you can see, but if you have 6 by 6, it will be uh, perfect too. So that's it. So before I start putting it together, let me tell you some of the things um, that I had to create by myself without any dies. So the box size is 5 by 5 and by 6 going up so uh this is five by five this is gonna be the floor and uh, um like a double floor i guess and the sides will secure in the metal so we don't see any of the um, extra pieces like this so the box will be pink this is the bottom and this is gonna be this other floor that we will uh, cover all these extra glue tabs okay so these parts you don't have to do two but i like to do two and it's gonna be a little bit more sturdier this way and this part is five by six and a half so six is gonna be our height and the flap is half an inch to glue it all together that's it so you do two of these or one and then four of the sides unless you want more then you would do more this is the lid it's five by five by one inch and these are the mountain layers that i've created for the sides and they are let's see the bigger piece is four and a half by five and a half and the layer is four by five i just took half an inch to have a quarter of an inch layer so this is the inside and the outside is exactly the same so it would look like this the outside would look like this and the inside will look like this So outside, inside. Okay. And that's it. That's all that I had to cut by myself. I already pre-cut all of the layers. And this is for the uh, lid. And it's uh, three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters of an inch. 
and this board is half an inch by four and a half okay rest of it that i'm using is all been done with the dies and they have their own measurements i just pre-cut them other than that um i had this your special die that's just a generic die from ebay then i got some um the butterfly um let's see there's alphabet and numbers and this is what i've got already uh it's from crafter's companion and i used one of the nesting dies uh again this was crafter's companion but you can use any nesting dies or anything that you have to do it i uh, did a little bit of rose gold um, metallic ink from crafter's companion too and it came from this set of stamps and it's um let's see it's from let's tr try to find it it's from thinking of you okay i will be using art glitter glue to uh, construct my uh, box because it's going to be opening and closing i need it to hold really good um, you would use the glue that you trust um, and that's it so let's go ahead and put it together
Well, that's it. Here is the box. It was made specifically how it was requested. So here it is. Of course, there will be a picture here. I can't really show it at the moment, but it will be later on. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Share across the social media and your friends. And I will see you in the next video.